Hello Libra and welcome to your April reading. So I've pre-laid the cards. What I got? Underline energy. Uh, the past or what is brewing under here. Here I got the Emperor and the Ace of One that came out together. So uh, for me that is like uh, in the past an opportunity, a passion was ignited but something, uh, because the emperor can take uh, aces uh, from the sky. There's a question of free will there. It is there. He has the experience. So it's, it, it doesn't have to be something completely new. But you have what it takes to take that ace. After that, I got the page of cups and the seven of wands. So what that tells me is that that Ace of uh, Wands maybe came with a loving communication here, page of, uh, page of Cups, but that put you on your defensive there, fighting off uh, the other wills of other people or um, uh, where you are at right now. Um, you, there could be um, competition, there could be uh, envy, there could be things like that, that comes with that uh, Ace of Wands. With that, I got the Nine of Pentacles. So there you are. Um, this is probably a singles reading, but there you are, self-made, strong in your stature. In the now... We have the Four of Wands. That's your home, your family, you, the union, celebration, solidity. We're talking about solidity here again. Judgment. So that's a trumpet coming from the sky. Can be a wake-up call, can be a restoration, something from the past coming back or uh, coming back alive, you know? It is also the last judgment. It is asking us to uh, have more of a cosmic point of view on what is happening. And here I have the Prince of Cup. So that Page of Cup becomes a Prince of Cup. That means that there it is a loving communication. But there there is actually being ready in action to actually offer one's heart or to receive in the outcome, those four came out together. So, I have the chariot. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer. The empress. So, we have the emperor and the empress. The two of cups and the star. So, what that tells me is that this is maybe, um, maybe a passion, a communication... Um, maybe from someone you know uh, because of uh, the judgment or it, maybe it's because it's brought you know by the heavens and maybe it's going to reawaken maybe reawaken your heart if your heart was comfortably single there and maybe that's why you were on the defensive here when you received that loving communication so uh, um, chariot that's when we aligned and it's a success card because our head heart and guts everything our inner side or outer side uh, is aligned empress your feminine side masculine side that that tells me uh, union you know with the two of cups so that is divine union with uh, the two empress and emperor there so if even if you're a woman or a man it's your counterpart it's your divine counterpart that is coming and that was written in the stars for you after that I have the wheel of fortune that came with the five of pentacle so if at one point in your life 
you had that uh, um, lack mentality, abandonment, um, feeling left out in the cold. This is changing. This is leaving. So you would not be uh, left out in the cold, doing things on your own, by yourself, alone. This is changing. Bottom of the deck, I have you. Justice. So, yes, it is you, Libra, but it is also something, um, it tells me that all of this is just and balance, brought by justice, karmic justice, universal justice. There's a just balanced uh, aspect to all of that. So we're going to clarify some cards here. I call upon spirit and I call upon the light to help me give a clear reading. Libra, April. Libra, call upon my guides. Help me give a clear reading to Libra. For April. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to ask uh, what is that Ace of Wands? What was that? passion that triggered you there what is that passion there ace of one opportunity that can grow what is that ace of one transformation it is a uh, a passion and everything like that but that is going to transform you it's going to purify you here and maybe you're gonna have to let go of some things also that's like peeling an onion death could be dealing with a Scorpio also talk to me about the princess of cups what was that message about? Okay. Well, the message was about that Ace of Wands. And you're looking at it here. Queen of uh, Swords. Uh, very air sign. And you're looking at it based on your experience here. Experience. Emperor. And you're not letting it... You see how the sword is in front of her? That sword of truth is in front of her heart here. She's using a discernment to filter through things through her mind and not letting it hit her to her heart right away. She's going to look at it with her wisdom and maybe a bit defensive also. Talk to me about the Four of Wands. Talk to me about the Four of Wands. So that was you in the past. The Ten of Wands wanted to come out. So maybe you have a lot of responsibilities at home there. Got a lot on your shoulders. There's that Ace of Wands there again with the page. You could have children at home also, but there's that communication with the Fool. So we're talking about a brand new restoration, the judgment of your home. It would be a whole new adventure with that Ace of Wands there. And it is being communicated again in the now asking you for a leap of faith brand new cycle what is the judgment maybe you're gonna pull a judgment on that judgment show me judgment Libra, 
What is judgment? Why is judgment here? So here we have the star again. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but that's not important. What is important is that that judgment really comes from heaven. Really, leap of faith, faith. Designed in the stars here for you. Judgment maybe is on hold what you're holding on here. On opening up maybe. Letting go of something. And here I have the Queen of Cups. This is your heart. Reigniting your heart. Maybe that passion here reignited a part of you that was dead but it was meant meant to happen and for that you need to open up and not hold on that is what the judgment is calling prince of cups show me the prince of cups libra Show me the, uh, the Prince of Cups for Libra. Here, that Ten of Wands that wanted to uh, come out. Maybe dropping all those responsibilities and burdens and focusing on your heart. King of Swords. That's your masculine side. Clarity of mind. Here we have the Queen of Swords, King of Swords. There's a couple there. There's a lot of uh, divine unions happening. You have the the empress and the emperor and the king of swords and queen of swords your masculine and your feminine side are being aligned uh, dropping all of the burdens of the heaviness of life and things like that you're at the end 10 and going with your heart but that because your heart was reignited there so you need to drop that. It is going to be a new thing for you. Here, that little series. Okay, talk to me about uh, the Two of Cups. Talk to me about that union. Talk to me about that union. Here we have the Emperor. And we have the two of uh, pentacle. So uh, you're waiting in, you know, waiting uh, the plus and the minus. And should I this or should I not that? You're holding on to something here, holding on. Something that you need to let go. Because it is making your emotions up and down and you're kind of juggling with it. If we jump, he has little baggage. There's baggage you need to drop here. Because if not, you're going to stay in that loop. In that eternal loop here. So you need to take control of what do you want. What does your heart tell you? So... Since, you know, there was death here with that Ace of Wands, there, maybe there's a need to transform, need to uh, uh, let something die. Maybe you're holding on to something. Show me the star. Show me the star. Yeah, okay. So, 
Ten of Pentacle and Nine of Swords. So you're really in your head about it. This brings you anxiety. It brings you anxiety. But with the Ten of Pentacle, it is something uh, that is uh, it's a legacy. It, it maybe it will affect your family and maybe that's what you're worried about here Libra it brings anxiety to you maybe because you're thinking about it too much maybe because you were abandoned in the past you have a hard time having faith here Show me uh, the chariot. You need to align yourself if you want the chariot to be victorious. Show me the the cancer, the um, chariot spirit. Show me the, the chariot. So see here, very aligned sword of truth i understand i'm going for it very active and there's your four of uh your four of wands four of wands that was clarified with a leap of faith with that passionate communication there for success you need to be aligned your thoughts need to be one thought one direction not two direction and juggling one direction and it's gonna be success talk to me about the wheel of fortune talk to me about the wheel of fortune Of course, a new union uh, changes uh, our home because we need to make space. We need to open up our home and make space for the new person. So, of course, it's going to make changes there. Okay, I got the devil, which goes very well uh, with this. Wheel of Fortune. What is the wheel of fortune going to change? Your conditions, that's for sure. But maybe uh, where you're restraining yourself, where you're put, you're tying yourself up into the maybe daily life of the three D world, which you know, uh, maybe uh, it's gonna change. Um, negative thoughts because uh, this can be you know ne negative. Uh, self-taught that we don't deserve or that you know the universe doesn't have our back we never get what we deserve we you know all that negative thought it does put us under his realm here preventing us to elevate to ascend You need to get the enlightenment. You need to uh, see things differently. The hangman, there's a pause for you. So that means there's going to be a pause. Yeah, to, so that you can open your mind here. Four of, uh, four of cups. This is what you know. Uh, Virgos had that too. This is what you know. This is your experience. You've been asked to open your heart 
with faith. Open your heart with faith here. Judgment. See things differently because this is what is uh, keeping you down. Maybe you're afraid to be rejected or, or something like that. You need to open your mind. This asks us to open our mind so that we can see the cup that wants to come, that the universe wants to give us. So that will of fortune will be on pause until you see your condition differently. Until you get that enlightenment. And that judgment is probably about that. You could be dealing also with the Capricorn, but here with the Five of uh, Pentacles, what is the will going to change? Uh, the devil and, and uh, that, yeah, that is enough to keep us uh, in that. Uh, so we have uh, unease inside. We uh, there's this uh, lack, and I mean feeling outside in the cold and all of that. So if you keep that energy very long, uh, maybe at one point some will fall into trying to um, um, mend it with external things from our 3D world, like food, alcohol, whatever escapism you can have not to feel, not to feel this abandonment. And so sometimes we can refuse and close even more by fear of reliving this and not seeing what beautiful can come. Talk to me about the Empress. Because we know your masculine side needs to um, let go of something. Um, these two emotions there. Uh, not emotion, but it makes the emotions up and down, but these two realities that he's holding inside of him, it needs to align, because the two of pentacles, see five of pentacles, that's, that's one of the realities here, I am abandoned, this is what the, this universe is giving me, and the other pentacle can be, yes, but I'm feeling that ace of of ones there and it could be something and you're going up and down so your masculine side your emperor is blocked he needs to transform he needs to let go of something what about your feminine side your empress here show me the empress spirit for libra whoa that's a bit too much Show me the Empress. Can you show me the Empress? Ten of Cups. Your Empress knows. Your Empress knows. So your feminine side feels it attracted that is creating that that's our creative part our inspired part but the part that is actually going to act upon this two of cups either by accepting it grabbing that wand or whatever is still juggling so it's your masculine side that is uh, putting a hold on this or Maybe your counterpart is putting a hold on this because of that. But we're talking about you, Libra. And there's that fear of being vulnerable. Here, there's a fear of being vulnerable. This for me. See, she's naked. She's ready to put it all there, like the gamble. This is freaking you out, even if it's something super solid, Ten of Pentacles, it would bring you a lot. But still, still you're afraid, you, there's this part of you, 
that uh, is uh, is afraid to be abandoned or to relive these things and that is not seeing uh, what is being brought in front of you right now in the future so the wheel of fortune will be on pause until you get that illumination until you get that insight until you see things differently but it is there for you so and that uh, the the hangman can last 24 hours like he can last three months it's all up to you everything is up to us free will so my dear libras there's something on the table for you a brand new passion it's up to you to take that leap of faith and accept to reopen your heart even if it freaks you out to take that yeah open up open your heart um, you feel it if you realign yourself it's gonna be success and if you block yourself it's gonna be on hold uh, until uh, you see things uh, differently until you have that enlightenment about what is holding you back in your life what is holding you back in your life from enjoying a beautiful relationship of course this is a singles reading from enjoying a beautiful balanced relationship with someone that sees you for your value for your heart that you can love deeply that would be passionate that would bring you ten of cups Ten of Pentacles. What is holding you back? So, think about it. I'm going to send you my love and light. Wish you a beautiful spring. And um, thank you for all the comments, the subscribes and shares. Um, I'll see you next month. All right? Bye-bye.